Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2015 Toyota Highlander XLE all wheel drive in this great burgundy color. This all wheel drive four door eight passenger SUV comes equipped with a 3.5 liter six cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. Starting in the front with some of the notable exterior features, you get a really stylish and aggressive front end thanks to the nice headlights that transition right into that chrome strip along the front of the grille here. Of course, with that nice Toyota emblem in the center there as well. If you take a look at the headlights, you'll notice the projector beam bulbs. And just below there, you've also got the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. As you come around to the side of the vehicle, one of the very first things you'll notice are these massive 19 inch alloy rims that the vehicle currently rides on. And those are wrapped in the Kumo tires with lots of tread. As we continue down the vehicle, you'll notice the LED turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. And of course, you've also got that nice chrome trim that surrounds the windows all the way back. And in back, you do have the tinted windows for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo. And that tint continues in the back as well. Up top, you'll notice the nice crossbar supports there, making it nice and easy to expand your storage if you choose to do so. And as we continue around in back, you do have that nice color matched roof fin antenna, as well as the color matched roof spoiler with the integrated brake light. You've also got a nice design to that spoiler as well. In back here, you'll also find the rear windshield wiper, which is a really handy feature to have. And you've also got the nice Highlander badging as well as the XLE badging. And you've also got this nice chrome strip here just below the lift gate. Underneath there, you do have a hitch, so this vehicle comes ready to tow. And this vehicle is in overall fantastic condition. So let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at all the interior features. Hopping inside, this luxury SUV is nice and easy thanks to the smart key system. Though of course you do have your standard remote keyless entry options on the key fob here. And you've also got the button for the power lift gate, which is a really handy feature. Though like I mentioned, this vehicle is equipped with a proximity smart key system. So simply walk up with the key in your pocket and put your hand in the door to unlock the vehicle. And when you hop out, you've got those two lines there to easily lock the vehicle. Inside, you're greeted with this plush black leather interior that you'll find all throughout the cabin. You've even got those nice accent stitches along the side of the bolster there, as well as on the headrest. This is some really plush and comfortable seating. And just below the driver's seat there, you will find the power adjustable seat controls, including the power adjustable lumbar support, and you've also got the power adjustable seat extender, which is a really handy feature to have if you have some longer legs. You can adjust that there to make it more comfortable. In the footwell there, of course, you will find the Highlander branded all-weather mats that you'll find all throughout the interior, which make it nice and easy to clean, regardless of how dirty or wet they get. So let's go ahead and hop inside this feature-loaded interior and take a look at all of the interior features. The features start with the push-button ignition. Simply put your foot on the brake and push the button to start the vehicle as long as the key is in the car. If you take a look over at the driver's side door panel here, you'll find this really nice design, including this nice brown accent piece that runs along the side here. And you've also got this nice metallic-looking finish to this piece up top. You've also got the nice leather that lines the armrest here. And of course, this is also where you'll find the controls for your power windows, locks, and mirrors. And as an added bonus, both of the front windows are automatic. Underneath there, you do have a little bit of extra storage in the door panel there, as well as a couple of cup holders. And of course, you got the speaker integrated in there as well. Just to the right, you'll find the button for your power lift gate up top, and you'll also find the button for your windshield wiper de-icer. Below that, you do have a little storage pocket here for some smaller items like coins or something of that nature. Underneath there you do have the manual adjustment for the tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you can get it in the perfect position. And if we take a look up top here, this vehicle does come equipped with the automatic headlights which is a very nice set it and forget it feature. And of course you got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior as well. If you take a look at this great looking leather wrapped three spoke steering wheel here, you've got a nice design including this nice metallic looking finish to the bottom piece here. And on the left hand side you have the controls for the audio system including your volume up, volume down and track selector buttons. You've also got the audio mode button, you can also hold that to mute the system. And you'll also find the voice recognition button here. At the bottom you've also got the Bluetooth hands free calling buttons. And on the right hand side here you do have the buttons to navigate the screen in the center of the gauge cluster and I'll show you what's included in that in just a moment. And just below there you've also got that nice cruise control stock which is a really handy feature for those highway drives. So let's go ahead and take a look at that screen there and you can see at the very top you've got the external temperature as well as the gear. And at the very bottom there you do have the odometer which currently reads 109,337 kilometers. In this first information screen here you've got your current fuel economy as well as your after reset fuel economy. You'll also find the range 
as well as your after reset stats. And you've also got the eco indicator here, as well as the all wheel drive control, so you can quickly check where the power is being sent. Next, you've got your compass, so you can quickly check which direction you're traveling. And you've also got your audio system here, so you can check what's playing and adjust it without ever having to take your hands off the wheel or even glance at your infotainment system. Finally, you do have any relevant vehicle messages or warnings on this page here. And lastly, you have your settings. You can click in to check your language, units. You can also toggle the eco mode on and off, which is nice to ensure you're getting the best possible fuel economy. You've also got your drive info, as well as your pop-up display, color, speed limit, and initialization settings. Take a look over in the center of the dash there at the very top, you do have the clock. You can set it with those two buttons there, and you've also got the passenger airbag warning. Just below that, we have the embedded touchscreen infotainment system that does include navigation, which is a really nice to have feature on 2015s. In terms of audio options, you've got pretty much every option available including your AM, FM radio, and this vehicle also comes equipped with XM radio, as well as inputs for CD, USB, auxiliary, and audio video. And of course, this vehicle also comes equipped with Bluetooth, so you can listen to your own audio regardless of the type of device that you have. In terms of other apps here, you can access the phone and messages menu if you have the phone hooked up via Bluetooth. You've also got your eco settings here, so you can check your trip information as well as your fuel economy, and you can also check the history with that button there. You can also activate the driver speak easy mode, which is a really nice mode there to give directions to the vehicle. And you've also got the maintenance reminders here, so you can set yourself maintenance reminders and ensure that you don't ever miss any important maintenance. And of course, you've also got the vehicle settings in this screen here, including your driver easy speak. And you've also got your navigation settings, driver settings, and vehicle settings. If you put this vehicle in reverse, you'll also see that backup camera pop right up, which is very nice to have in a vehicle of this size. Just below that, we do have the dual zone climate controls for the front passengers. It's an automatic climate control system, so simply hit the auto button and, and the vehicle will adjust the fan speed and heat to get it to your desired temperature. You've also got air conditioning for those hot summer days, and you've got the heated mirrors for those cold winter days and you can also access your rear passenger climate control as well making this a tri-zone climate control vehicle of course the front passengers are adjusted here and the rear is adjusted here underneath there you do have a little bit of an extra storage pocket that extends all the way across for some smaller items and as we continue down you do have the buttons for your traction control as well as your snow mode your downhill assist and your differential lock and underneath there you will find the USB input as well as the auxiliary input and you've also got a 12 volt outlet there as well to keep everything charged up. As we continue down you've got the cup holders here with a nice chrome trim that surrounds it. And you've also got the shifter here with that nice leather wrap boot. And you can also put that into a standard mode if you want to manually shift between the gears. As we continue down you've also got the adjustable heated seats for your driver and your passenger. And finally, we've got this nice center console here. You can open up either section of it. Simply press in on that little button there, and you'll open up this nice large center console here, as well as this sliding tray. So you can access your cargo in there and organize it nice and easily. And of course, you've also got a 12 volt outlet there in the bottom to help keep everything charged up. When you're done, you can slide both pieces back over and give it a nice clean, polished, closed look. Take a look in the passenger side footwell there, you'll find the same great all-weather mats, as well as, of course, your glove box with lots of storage inside. And if we take a look over at the passenger side door panel there, you'll find the same great design as we found on the driver's side. As well as, of course, the controls for the power locks, as well as the passenger side window. Finally, if we take a look up top here, you do have the interior lighting controls, as well as the programmable garage door buttons, so you can easily access your garage without having to get your key fob out. And you've also got the controls for the sunroof, which is a really nice feature in the summer. You can let some sun in as well as some additional airflow. You've also got this handy little sunglasses holder, and you can also put that part way down to see what your rear passengers are doing, which is really nice if you have children in the back. You've also got the auto dimming rear mirror here as well to help keep your mirror nice and dim, even if there are bright lights in it at nighttime. So let's go ahead and hop out and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. 
In the rear of this vehicle, you'll find more of that same incredible black leather seating with the very nice design, including the nice accent stitching. You've also got plenty of legroom for your rear passengers. Even if the front seats are pushed all the way back, you've still got plenty of legroom. And you'll also find the same great all-weather mat that extends all the way across the back seat. Back here, you've also got a couple of handy storage pockets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat for some additional interior storage. And of course, you'll also find the rear climate controls to help keep everybody comfortable on the drive. Underneath there, you do have an extra little storage compartment as well as a 12 volt outlet to help keep devices charged up for your rear passengers. And back here, you've also got a handy little fold out armrest, which is a nice padded black leather armrest with a couple of extra cup holders for your rear passengers as well. These seats also do fold down on a 60-40 split if you have some additional cargo to store, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But of course, if you just grab this lever here, you've also got access to your third row of seating, which is again that same great black leather seating with the nice accent stitching there. You've also got a decent amount of leg room for your rear passengers here in the third row, and you've also got that nice all-weather mat that extends all the way across the third row as well. Back there, you do have three seats giving you a total of eight passenger capacity and of course you've also got a couple of cup holders on both sides there for some drink storage for your third row passengers. If you want to fold these seats down for some additional interior storage you can do so by grabbing this number two latch here and that'll fold the seat right down giving you lots and lots of flat interior cargo space. You can also of course fold the seat back up when you're using it for seating. If you take a quick look at the rear door panels here, you've got the same great design as we found in the front, as well as of course the rear window switches, and an extra cup holder integrated into the door panel, and the speaker as well. Up top here you've also got this handy little sunshade, so you can pull that over and give yourself some additional shade in the rear of this vehicle for your rear passengers. Let's go ahead and take a look in back, and that's nice and easy thanks to the power lift gate, simply hit the button, and that lift gate pops right open. And even with that third row of seats folded up, you do have quite a bit of cargo space here. It's fairly surprising considering the third row is folded up. But of course you can also fold that down with these latches up here 